the zimzum of the Or Ainsof occurred in the very middle point. This was the Botsina de Cartanuta in the very middle point of creation, the focus of all the energy in there, and that's the letter Yud that's suspended in the middle point. It's the only letter that's suspended. It doesn't have a, a top or a base on lines. And so it's suspended in midair, so to speak. And this midpoint is basically the rod la, the, the head that's not a head. And everything is in this one dot. And this is the seminal seed, the drop of semen. And that is a yud. And this three head, Radla has three sapphiro in its upper head of Atik Yomin. And these three heads are still represented in this yud. Because a yud has three motions, even in its dot. It's the putting on, the movement, and then the taking off. So it's a yud, vav, dalit. And this yud has 80, is mem, because mem is 80, mem, mem. It's also yesod, you see. And this is the dot, and it's the yud is the sod, yud is the secret. And in this highest level, the Botsina de Cartanuta is the Keta of, of Radla. But then there's Hokman Biner of Radla, which actually are kind of like are the Vav and the Dalit. Because when you do the, the full gematria of, of the letter Yud, because I take it from the phrase Poteic et Yudecha, not Yadecha, but Poteic et Yudecha, open up your Yud and satisfy all living creatures. And this Yud is spelled Yud Vav Dalit. And the full gematria, well, that is 20, but the full gematria, which is the Kaf of Keta, but the full gematria of Yud Vav Dalit is 466. 466 is also the gematria of Shimon, my brother. But the 466, and that's that is for the Keta here. And that's actually two regels of 233 each, which could be considered, you know, the Hokmambina, but in each of these Hokmambina, I consider them the Cleot. They're Cleot, they're the, they're the, the uh, testes, so to speak, of y the Yud. And this Cleot, it's such a deep, deep aspect. Because remember, Cleot always come as two. They don't, they don't say Clea. They say Cleot. They come in pairs. And the gematria of Cleot is Kaf, 50, Lamed, well, Kaf, Lamed, 50, Yud, six, uh, 10, 60, Vav, 6, and Tov. Six hundred, uh, four hundred and sixty-six, and that's the same as the yud, which is the keta. So in these, each one of these kliot is four hundred and sixty-six. All the two together are four hundred and sixty-six. Doesn't matter. It's four hundred and sixty-six. The same as this yud spot. And remember, the kliot advise. They're hokman bina. They're the brains of this lowest realm which is really the higher realm it's the unconscious realm of the, of the physical that's in the body the, the second brain that's in the body itself and this higher realm is beyond the head it's, a, it's above the, 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 the coverings that come down into the bris and this bris occurs by a three action motion where it takes the 
covering off the the penis with three functions of a mila, a pariya, and a matzitza uh, uh, bape. And so these three functions are evident in the keta, chokma, and bina of Rod Lowe. And they all revolve around the 466 number. But what's so otherwise beautiful about Cleote is Cleote in full comes out to be Kaf is, is 100, Lamed is 74, it's 174, Yud is 20, it's 194, Tw uh, Vav is 12, that's a 206, and then Tav, 406, that's a 600, 612. 612 is bris, which is what I'm saying this is all about. So the words kliot is the hokman bina, uh, the other two functions besides the mila of the, of the, the three functions of the bris are tied up in the rod law, the three heads, three tops of fire road of keta, hokma, and bina, of rod law. And this all revolves around the yud, the suspended letter that has no base. The only letter that has no base, it's just suspended in midair, like, like the, 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 the area of the penis, uh, penis, because all the actions revolve and emanate from the penis, from the middle space. And this is the great secret of Judaism. That everything comes out of this Yud. And how we relate to this Yud. And it's a Yud. And then it becomes a Yud. And then a Yud Vav Dalit. So the two together equal 30. Yud is 10. Then it's full spelling. Yud Vav Dalit, that's 30. And that also is involved with the Keta, Chokmah, and Bina first letters are Kaf, Het, Bet, 30. And this is the Yi, Ye. And it's actually the word Zimzum in um, Atbash, and then spelled backwards, Yi, Ye. And so the whole thing up here is 30. And it relates to the month. And it also relates not only to the month, but it relates to the Nazir with the 30-day function. And this is all relates to the Yud, Hey, Vav. Yud, Hey, Yud, Hey. Where there's two Yuds in the, uh, uh, rather than the Vav. And so the real secret of the yud hey yud hey is the, is the actualization of the second Yud down here in what we will call the physical world. And this all comes... This all comes from the letter Yud and the, and the zimzum and, and, and the contraction of everything of, of all the or Ainsoff. If not Ainsoff itself, even before the or. And or Ainsoff, you know, both is, is the same. There's 207 for or, 207 for Ainsoff. And, and, and the word Vahavta, even the concept of love, which comes through the bris. But everything comes into this dot. The seed of sperm, the botsina de katanuta, the hard wheat. The secret is that it's not a pole there, it's a dot. Dot, just one drop, one drop of semen. <laughs> 